deployment for my stencil web components welcome to coding locker guys this is chan prashwarian this is a playlist in what we have learned about stencil we have covered all these uh, let me get a pen we have covered all these uh, components you've seen how do we create components how do we actually uh, do a styling for a component do a data binding error handling http requests lifecycle methods communication between the components everything we have uh, covered now the next part which is about the deployment so again we have three parts uh, to html application to react and to angular one at first we would go with the html one and we'll do without npm package so let's uh, quickly jump to our code this is this is our code which is uh, you can see running at localhost 333 and this is something which we have done let me click on the uh, search it so that we are get, fetching some record from the api as well now let's suppose this is the web component you want to use this uh, in the different application so what you have to do at first press ctrl c and terminate the session cls just to clear and run a command npm run build so this is the command you have to run so after running this command it would create one dist folder uh, to the same location and this this folder would contain all the compiled code right we have the tsx files and uh, maybe you have the says file so whatever uh, files you have in different format it would be compiled in a javascript format so that it can be readable for uh, by any application whether it's angular one or the react one or the plain uh, html application or dot net application anything so let me uh, this is our dist folder uh, so let's reveal in the file explorer and here we are so just copy this and close this after that i am going to open uh, visual studio just to create the new application so create new project sp.net platform application i'll take click on next and maybe we can say stencil deployment demo right click on create now go for the uh, maybe we can either go for the empty one or the web form let's go for the empty application click on create let it create okay once it is created can see this is our, our empty solution now here paste your dist folder which we have copied which was generated by stencil npm run build command so we have the dist folder now here you would notice we have our uh, components we have our collection my card search word see do we have uh, so sorry so we have the dot js file dot css files although we have never created uh, that dot js file it was a tsx so compiler actually automatically compiled and created the dot js file now we can just use this so let me create an empty html page here we are index dot html hello sorry from index page so consider this is your existing application where you want to make use of the components so let at first run and see are we getting this output okay we have this output hello from index page now again come back to your uh, component go to this index.html and these are the two tags which you need these are the two components you need right so go to your this page and use it here we can add one br tag and then you need these two scripts so copy the scripts and add it in the head section and just provide the accurate path accordingly so this is the path as per our new location we control s accurate path which is required right 
once this is done just save it and refresh the dot html page and see do we have the same output the way we have at localhost triple three 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 let it load Here we are so this is our 4439 these are different application we have the same components click on stencil click on get react user click on react everything is working fine for us this is the example of two way data binding this is all working click on search do we are are we still getting the data from api yes we are getting so this is how actually you create your component and how you actually can make use of the existing component in the uh the, the component in the exist, exist, existing application sorry so whether you have dotnet application whether you have uh, angular application any application this would not impact your existing work that is the exact benefit of the creation of this web component because it converts those files into the js file and js is uh, being recognized by any of the uh, browser any of the framework any of the technology so that is all so in the next part uh, we'll create our uh, plain uh, react application and uh, we'll deploy this uh, at the npm we'll generate npm package and after that we will import that M npm package in the react application and we will see that can we use the same in the react one as well so that is all for uh, today's part thank you for being at coding locker guys if you if you have any query any doubt any questions please do ask me uh, and i'll be happy to answer those questions have a nice day see you in the next part